What teachings does Paul differ from Yeshua? Very, very good question. Very, very good question. Uh, I, I, I mean, we can talk all night about it, but let me give you a little bit of a let me give you a little bit of a hint. And I know, I understand. It. I, I'll tell you, right off, right, right off the bat. I will tell you, I know for sure. People will try to beat around the bush about it. They'll try to butter over it. They'll try to do some theological dance around it. But let's approach it. Let's let's approach this subject. Again, with an open mind, not an not an empty mind, but an open mind, and try. I know it's it's pretty much impossible, but try your best not to bring any preconceived ideas to the table, i.e., that Paul never contradicts Jesus, like that kind of preconceived idea. Let's just come wipe off the 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 board as wipe off the. Um, in the blackboard, so to speak. Clean it off right now in your own mind, okay? Step back from it. Let's look what what, what uh, Paul says. Like, for example, I'm not going to get into all the detail, all the depths of it, unless you guys want me to, but you look at like 1 Corinthians chapter 8, and I, I believe it's also repeated in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, where Paul says very, very clearly that it's okay. You have freedom in Christ. This is Paul now. Paul says, you have freedom in Christ. Don't let your freedom, you know, cause someone else to stumble because you can do whatever you want in Christ. Because, um, food that's sacrificed to idols, you can eat it because idols are nothing. And, and there is no such thing. There's only one God anyway. Idols are nothing. So you can eat it. You can eat all those, all the food sacrificed to idols. But just don't eat it in front of other believers that think that... You, People that think that it's wrong because you might cause them to stumble in their faith. You might cause these people that are weak in their faith. You guys who are full of, you, you guys that have the knowledge and the freedom, you have such advanced knowledge. Don't let your advanced knowledge cause some other, someone else, you know, one of these other uh, brothers, brothers or sisters in the Lord who are weak in faith who think that it's not good to eat meat sacrificed to idols, don't eat in front of them. I mean, just, you can eat it. You have freedom to eat it. Just don't eat your food, your food sacrificed to idols in front of them because they're, they're weak in faith and they think that it's wrong to do, to do that. And they're, you'll cause them to stumble and their faith will, will crash. Basically, that's what he said. Uh, I mean, really, that's what he said. Let's be real about this. That's what he said. Then you go over to Revelation chapter 2 and 3, and you look at the words in red, the words of Yeshua, the words of Yahusha, Yahawasha, whatever you want to call him, Yeshua, Yeshu, Jesus. You look at the words in red. What does he say about eating meat sacrificed to idols? Absolutely no tolerance, zero, zero tolerance of, on eating uh, food sacrificed to idols, strictly forbidden. And if you do, serious judgment is going to come upon you. And that's what Jesus said. Obviously, we've got a little bit of difference between Paul and Jesus. 